What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to fix the WooCommerce SSL product category bug. Now, I have been working on a huge masterclass that's for free to teach all of you creatives how to start your own business online. And one of the th requests that I had was of the WordPress. So I'm going back through WordPress and basically creating a whole site from scratch. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Now that's the more complex side of building your business. However, I do recommend Shopify instead if you're not that technically savvy. But anyways, this actual tutorial is for people who are having problems getting their SSL to work on the new version. Now, let me explain. WordPress, WooCommerce, and really simple SEO all updated, and there is a bug, and they're incompatible with each other. So when you go to the products category page in WooCommerce, what's going to happen is you're not going to have um, right here, the products category page, um, the SSL won't work there because of the bug. So what you're gonna need to do is you're going to need to deactivate really simple SSL. Um, one of the suggestions that, I don't know, troubleshooting tips that I read about was that if you, if you install this, um, actually if you install the WooCommerce first and then you install the really simple SSL and then track in the advanced tab to, uh, you know, uh, force the SSL. I tried that, it didn't work. The, and, and the funny thing is, is that when you're working with WordPress and these websites that are more complex, there's gonna be a lot of troubleshooting and configuring. You have to kind of figure stuff out for yourself because a lot of the times when all of these updates take place, they're not in sync. Whereas with Shopify, it's in sync because you're not going to be able to put that particular plugin or that particular feature set if it is not compatible with the platform. Whereas WordPress simply does not check for that thing. So just keep that in mind when you're using WordPress. So here is the simple fix. It's absolutely simple. So what I did was I went into the plugins and I deleted real simple SSL and this plugin I installed one click SSL and it's showing here that it's untested with your version of WordPress but I just read the description here and enable SSL to redirect to all pages to SSL and load all resources over SSL it works so I'm gonna show you here in the products tab and I'm gonna go to categories and um, uncategorized and I'm just gonna pull my window down here so you can see that it's still working, okay? So it's still working and it's working through SSL. Now, if I go back to my dashboard, if I go back to my dashboard, it might give me an error, not actually an error, just a warning that um, this plugin is like excessive to the SG optimizer, but the SG optimizer doesn't do anything with SSL really. So I would just ignore that warning because it's really not messing anything up. And I clicked off the warning and I don't have it again. But what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use this plugin until they, Woo, WordPress, WooCommerce, and really simple SEO get their shit together and like make a plugin that works all in sync together. And this is one of the things that, <laughs> why I never, like this is why I left WordPress because of these issues. And then you're paying for all these plugins and you know, you have all these problems. Not to mention the fact that sometimes they update these plugins and when you've paid for this plugin like 10 years ago, and you paid for it in full, and then all of a sudden you update it and it's a subscription base, that's pretty shady. And that's another reason why I left 
WordPress, but I digress. So if you're working on a WordPress web uh, WordPress site and you are trying to configure the SSL and you can't, this is the easy workaround. And thank you so much for watching this. If you like this, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing a whole series on how to build your WordPress site from beginning to end. I am an expert in this. So um, if you have any questions at all about WordPress, let me know and I will answer you as soon as I can. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. More to come.